Business editor Richard Southern joins us now. Lockdown rules are slowly being relaxed across Ontario, and that means more retailers will be reopening over the coming weeks, Richard. Erica, that's right. And the Ford government uh, wants everyone to know that they're sending the inspectors out to make sure that retailers are following all of the rules as far as, you know, limits of people in the stores, making sure everyone's wearing the mask, making sure there's plastic up by the by the cashiers. The big box stores, of course, have remained open and they have been the, the target of this big ins inspection blitz. Uh, Erica, I talked to the labor minister today, Monty McNaughton, and he told me the blitz is working. The big box stores are starting to fall in line. Take a look. And I'm proud to say that uh, compliance rates are up uh, about 19%. So certainly uh, trending uh, in the right direction. But my message uh, is clear. We're uh, beefing up enforcement and we want every business to be doing uh, more than at any point during the pandemic to keep workers and, and the public at large safe. Erica, he says 218 tickets have been issued to the big box stores, and there's going to be a, a new inspection blitz now targeting warehouses and distribution centers in the Peel region area where there have been a lot of COVID cases. Makes sense. All right, to move over GameStop, there's a new favorite type of stock for day traders. Mm -hmm. Cannabis stocks, Erica. These are stocks just like GameStop that are heavily shorted, meaning there are a lot of investors betting against them. So we saw some of the biggest names in that sector shoot, shoot up today. Canopy Growth gaining 6%. Tilray gained 50%. Uh, the Reddit users like it. The analysts, not so much. Most of the analysts that cover these stocks don't recommend buying them. But bottom line, Erica, it was good news for Bay Street. The TSX today closed at another record high with all those pot fumes wafting around. And finally, a legendary Canadian band is hopping mad at one Toronto brewery. <laughs> hopping mad, yes. It's it's a beer-related story. It's the tragically hip we're talking about here. Uh, the hip is suing Mill Street Brewery over this beer. It was called the 100th Meridian Lager. Uh, of course, the, the hip had a uh, famous song called the 100th Meridian. It was a hit on its uh, 1982 album. Uh, in a Facebook post, uh, the band wrote, quote, many of you are probably under the impression that we were associated with Mill Street's 100th Meridian beer. We are not. End quote. Uh, apparently, they tried to work something out of, with Labatt's and they weren't able to. Uh, Labatt, of course, being the parent company of Mill Street Brewery. So that's working its way through the courts, Erica. All right. 680 Business Editor Richard Southern. Thanks, Richard. Thanks.